Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about header variables from PyWeb Report. What are the variables, why we need them and how to use them. So let's open Calypso and follow along with me. Now, if you are using PyWeb reporting from Calypso, you have probably seen variables all the time. But do you really know about them? I saw a lot of programmers that use the default variables in a report and do not worry for them for a long time. But I also know that a time will come when they will be asked to make something more specific for the place they work and that is when the hunt for information starts. So, if your hunt started, search no more, you are in the right place. Variables are used by Calypso to write data in PyWeb reports. Data type can be changed to suit your needs, but in order to do this, you have to know that there are five categories of data in PyWeb. The first category are part attributes. Data from the part itself, like the part name, the part number, the drawing number, cavity, material type and much more. This variable will be linked in PyWeb with the following syntax. The second attribute goes to characteristics, where we find information like the characteristic name, the type of the characteristic, the nominal value, tolerance and everything that links to characteristics. For these variables, PyWeb needs the following name, QDB characteristic. On the third attribute, we have measurement information, like measurement date, who measured the parts, name and number of CMM and production equipment. And PyWeb will recognize this through the following syntax. The fourth attribute is taken by the measurement values where we have information about the deviation from the nominal, the actual position, the comment of the measurement value, everything linked to the results from the measurement plan. For this, PyWeb will start with the following syntax, but it will differ from one word to another. And the last attribute goes to the free variables, specifically the ones created by the programmer. These are protocol header variables without assignment and the syntax shows like this. Before starting to modify anything in your reports, make sure and go to check out the default variables from Calypso. There are a lot of variables that Calypso already covers. And to go and see the available variables, go to measurement tab multiple report, select report header parameters. All variables from here are available even in the basic license of PyWeb. And if we go in the right side of the window and wait two seconds, a pop-up window will appear and we will see the syntax linked to the default variable that we have the mouse on. We can even save our default variables that we want to use on all our measurement plans. So let's see what we want to use. Uh, let's say that we want to use the incremental part number, the drawing number, the order, the part name, the part number, all the time. And we can save the selection as an XML file that we can recall at a new program. So let's start a new measurement program now. Let's go now to variables. And here we can see that our variables are not checked, at least not all of them. But when we go to open a list of variables, we can choose our selection and the variables from before are now selected. But this alone will not generate the report with the information that you need. You still have to create your own report. So 
let's go and open a measurement program with characteristics on it. Now let's populate the variables that we want to show on the report and run the measurement program in order for Calypso to write the variables to PyWeb. In the default report, we have some of the variables completed, but there are still some variables missing. So we will have to go back to multiple report, make sure you have the standard protocol selected and go to the icon with the pen from the right side of the window. The new open window will ask you what type of report do you want to create? A generic one that you can use for all your measurement plans or a measurement plan specific template that you can use only for the measurement plan that you work at the moment. In our case, it's a generic template because we want to use this at all our measurement plans we will have to give it a name and save it. And after this step, PyWeb Designer will open and we can edit the report. Now, let's say that we don't need the variant variable from here and we want to change it to a variable that we choose from the list earlier. Go to the box where it writes variant in gray if we double click on it, we can see the syntax related to it in PyWeb, but we want to right click on it and select suggested variable. And we can find here all the variables that we checked at multiple report window. Now delete the box where it's written variant with black, right click again on this box select variable and show description. This will create another box with the name of the variable. Move the box to suit the space from the report and create all the other variables the same way. When you finish this step, make sure to save the report. Now exit the designer, go and select your report from the multiple report window select the three dots from the format, generic templates, and here it is. Run again the measurement plan and the generated report will contain all your variables. And if you need to create your own variables, make sure to go check out my video created specially for this in the exclusive member section from YouTube or join my Patreon channel at exclusive member selection and you will find out how to do this also there. I hope this tutorial helped you create templates and personalize header variables in PyWeb reports. And until next time, don't forget, learn as much as you can.